What is the longest you've gone without sleeping? A day? Or maybe a couple of days? How did you feel afterwards? Probably stressed, agitated, and having trouble keeping focus on tasks. But how do you think you would manage after 11 consecutive days without sleep? In 1963, Randy Gardner, at age 17, went 11 days without sleeping. On the third day without sleep, he reported feeling nauseous and having trouble remembering things. And he said the more he stayed awake, the more irritable he got, and that his mental health continued to decline. On day 11 without sleep, he recalls snapping at reporters and acting as what he said, a brat. Surprisingly, though, Gardner showed no physical problems. It was his mental health and behavior that were affected most. We will learn why in today's video as we discuss what happens to your brain when you don't get sleep. How much sleep a person needs varies. For most kids, experts recommend 9 to 12 hours. Teens are recommended 8 to 10 hours, and for adults, 7 or more. But although sleep quantity is important, sleep quality plays a major role as well. But what is the process of getting good sleep? There are two distinct classes of sleep, REM and non-REM sleep. Non-REM consists of three different stages for a total of four distinct stages of sleep. You begin at stage one, which is light sleep. When you're relaxed, your brain's electrical activity is around 8 to 12 hertz. This is called your alpha rhythm. As drowsiness starts, this alpha rhythm decreases and these electrical frequencies become more irregular and smaller in amplitude. At this stage, your heart rate begins to slow and your muscles begin to untense. This stage can last several minutes, and then you're on to stage two. At stage two, you become less aware of outside stimuli, and if you wake up, you may deny ever being asleep. Your brain waves are around 12 to 14 hertz, which are called sleep spindles, and these happen in periodic bursts. These waves will also dip sharply to a negative electrode potential, which are called K-complexes. After stage two, you are led to stage three, or slow wave sleep. In this stage, your brain waves are at their slowest with very large amplitudes. These are called delta waves. During this stage, your neighboring cortical neurons, the neurons found in your cerebral cortex, tend to have synchronized activity. After 90 minutes, which is the time it takes to progress through these stages, you enter REM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement, and your brain begins to give off small amplitudes of high frequency, just as you would if you're awake. During REM, your breathing and heart rate become irregular compared to the other stages where your heart rate and breathing decreases. This is the stage where we get our vivid dreams. Getting good sleep requires that a person fulfills their required cycles of sleep without being interrupted, as well as having a good sleep schedule. Someone who gets little to no sleep one night and then the next gets over 10 hours of sleep will probably not be the most well rested. And there are multiple reasons why it is important that people have good sleep. Sleep is needed for the brain to maintain homeostasis, the balance of chemical and physical aspects in our body. Sleep is important in cementing memories acquired before going to sleep, as well as preparing the brain to receive memories from the next day. Sleep plays an important role in regulating the body's hormone production, such as growth hormones, which support bone and muscle development, and cortisol, which is part of the body's stress system response. Studies have shown that sleep in early stages of life also affect our brain maturation. And sleep is essential for regulating brain mechanisms such as brain plasticity and functional connectivity. A recent study has showed that sleep helps restore the brain by flushing out toxins that build up when we are awake. Cerebral spinal fluid, the liquid that surrounds our brain, has been theorized to clear the metabolic waste in our brain during sleep. It is clear then that sleep is an important mechanism, but what happens to your brain and all these processes when you get little to no sleep? The brain is the most affected organ in our body when we get no sleep or low quality sleep. 
Going a single night without good sleep can affect the functional connectivity in our hippocampus, which is responsible for managing our memories, and our amygdala, which is responsible for our emotional processing. Because of this, we can find ourselves extra irritable, cranky, or forgetful. This is caused by an increase in limbic activity. This means that there are more frequent signals and actions happening in the limbic system, the part of our brain containing the hypothalamus, thalamus, amygdala, and the hippocampus. These parts of our brain are functioning at higher rates than it usually would. Because the limbic system is hyperactive in our sleep-deprived state, any negative stimuli or situation, no matter how small, can cause us to react harshly. It also causes our memories to falter, which makes us susceptible to forming false memories. Getting a full night of sleep allows for the brain to essentially reset to maintain functional connectivity in the amygdala so that we give better behavioral responses in the following day, and so we can retrieve our memories more effectively with the hippocampus. Another major effect of getting no sleep is reduced attention. Signals in our dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, which is the part of our brain responsible for our attention, are reduced. This reduces the amount of connective activity occurring in this part of our brain, which can cause lack in our focus. Sleep deprivation, or lack of sleep, can also alter the reward system in our brain by triggering a downregulation of dopamine. This alters our motivated behaviors when it comes to taking risks or our impulsivity. This impairs our ability to make beneficial decisions. Going back to Randy Gardner, it makes sense then why he was so moody and agitated, but gave no sign to physical illnesses. The effects from him getting no sleep impacted his brain the most, which caused his behavior to worsen by having him become easily agitated and snappy at people. His brain had problems functioning, his limbic system became hyperactive, and so his emotions were heightened and the decrease of functional connectivity in his hippocampus made it difficult for him to remember things. Sleep plays a major impact in our daily lives. It can affect how we behave, how we recall memories, how attentive we are, and our overall decision making. Going without sleep or not getting good quality sleep will greatly inhibit many of our everyday abilities. So it's safe to say, Getting a good night's sleep and sticking to a sleep schedule is important for us to maintain. And hopefully, you stray away from what Randy did. Ascend is dedicated to advancing STEM education through community engagement and furthering the excitement of neuroscience discovery. We are grateful for the support of the Stiles Nicholson Foundation, whose generous contributions make this program possible, and our partnership with Florida Atlantic University. Please find more neuroscience content on all social media outlets and our website, www.fau.edu slash ibrain slash ascend slash resources. Thanks for watching!